And welcome back to episode three of Alon Paul's exobiology run. I'm going to try seeing if we can get phase three completed. Possibly some of phase four. We've already got one done there. And maybe into a little bit of phase five, even though we've already completed something there too. Um, but it's really interesting how some of these phases are going to work out together. And you're going to hopefully you'll enjoy this. So here we go. We are currently in the space anomaly. Um, I came here specifically so that I could get a medium refiner because I want to finish up the weapon so I can actually do uh, a pulse spitter on my multi-tool, but hey, it's nice. I'm able to run pretty far now. <laughs> Must be the new sneakers I've got. I'm so sorry. That was a bad joke. Here we go. Uh, we will get this later on, so we're not going to worry about that. I do need that. There's really nothing else I need at this time. All of this is cosmetic mumbo jumbo. I don't need power. So, I'm going to hold off on anything else I need right now. So in order to build that, I think I need five dihydrogen jellies. I can't remember what the other items were, but everything I should have everything I need. So we're going to head out to, on the expedition route, we're going to head out to the third navigation point. I swear that's loud. Anyway. See if it'll let us... Nope, not yet. I wasn't trying to scan anything. There we go. Well, it's skipping right over it. There we go. So, we're going to get to our third navigation point. Which is right all the way over here. So, we shouldn't have any problems with how far I have to go anymore. I think my ship is pretty well boosted at this point. And once we get over here, we're going to start seeing what we have around us. Alright, now, I'm going to jump into the ship for a second. We've got a rotting planet. So it's going to be damp there. That's a good place to finish out one of our phases, sub-phases, if you will. This planet is barren. Nothing special there, though that's where our navigation point is. Isotopic. Hmm. Okay, I'm not sure if that's the planet I'm looking for. Uh, what's this one? Hymel. That's just cold. Pillared. Oh, yeah, we want to head there. All right, let's hit the space station first, and we're going to hit the pillared planet. That's one of the planets we want to stop at because a couple thing, a couple different things. Number one, we get one of the five planets that we need to find as far as discovery is concerned. Number two, it is got one species. It has one species of animal life on it, which is a very odd species. So when we land there, we'll be able to identify that species, that's another sub-phase that we're going to pick up and complete. And we can do it in one quick landing. Alright. So first things first, if I remember correctly, yep, I got some upgrades. We'll start with the, the multi-tool because I need the extra slot. right where I want it. Okay, let's take a look at that real fast because I want to make sure of something here. Pulse spitters all around there. Mining beam, optical drill. Let's put you over here. Put you over here. And you over here. Okay, good. That goes there. That leaves that spot. That goes here. 
Okay, but we still have to make it. Okay, good shape. Moving on, we should be able to get two upgrades from this real fast. One for the new system. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. And then one more. For the added upgrade I got. Okay. Storage augmentation. We'll get that done real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, let's put it there. Okay. Just out of curiosity. It'd be great if I could find somebody with the minerals I needed, but probably not. I had one extra wiring loom I did not need. I really could use some oxygen. Okay. Worry about it later. There's my ship. Where's ship? There's ship. Okay. On me way. Alright, so we're going to hang a right. And head towards that little gem of a planet. And we're on our merry. Almost looks like we're headed towards the suns. There's actually a couple of videos out there. A Professor Cynical, I think, tried to go all the way to the sun in the center of a solar system. I'm not sure if he ever made it. I know he did a very long run out to the edge of a solar system to see how far he could go, and it finally started glitching out on it. It was really, really cool. It took, I forgot how long he said, I think it was over a week, literally. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's fight some pirates, shall we? What? We're not fighting pirates. Oh, <laughs> yes, we are. You see that container right there in the middle? Yeah. And the one over to the right over there? Watch this. Watch. Got some gold. And there they are. Hi, buddy. Let me take those shields down for you. You don't need them anymore, do you? Bye. Next. <laughs> All right. Uh, I got turned around a little bit here. Why, hello there. Uh, we want to get through the wreckage. And on to our planet. I like to fight in first-person mode like that. I don't know what it is about it, but I actually prefer to do so. In order to find the ships a little better. I don't know. And then when I'm exploring, I like to be in third person because it lets me see more of my surroundings. Now, there probably isn't anything else on this planet but it is a wacky looking planet. If you've never played this and never seen a planet like this before, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty cool stuff, man. Oh, you know what? We could use some of that oxygen I saw on the ground back there. And that is a, an actual creature. There it is. Bizarre life forms. And there it is. We need oxygen. Now the pretty cool thing is, if you wanted to, this is a great place to collect glitches. So, hey, a little bit of instruction at this time. We're going to talk about glitches for a second. I thought I saw one over this way. They appear with a question mark on these planets that have these wacky looking... Uh, things on them, and they're usually red instead of yellow, like that one right over there. Hey, buddy. So see how it shows up with a question mark? Glitching separator? You can collect them. I'll pick one up. 
and now you have this in, in your inventory as something you can put on one of your bases. So it's pretty neat to collect these things. I highly recommend doing so. It is one of the more cooler things to collect in the game and to put in your bases. And if you've ever seen some of my other videos, my other videos I actually highlight my main base on my main save. I have a whole room full of them. The eight or ten usual separators you can find are glitching items that you can find in the game as well as a whole bunch of other collectible stuff that you can get. So, yeah, a lot of fun. Suggest doing it. Alright, so we've completed this. Gives us more nanites, and guess what we just got? Assorted glitches. There we go. Fissures, bubble clusters, and I think one more. The rattle spines, of course. So, there we are. So, see, there they are. All the glitches. Now, of course, it's collected on my ship, so I'll go ahead and put that on the ship, too. I need to put that away as well. I don't need that. I think... There we go. That's a good thing for that. We've got two extra spots up here. Let's put my ferrite, my ferrite plus. That's going to go on the ship. Put ammonia up here. Put this down here. Okay, we're in good shape. Okay, starship. All right, back to here. Okay, you know what? We need to find a decent place we can drop a base because we can't build a medium refiner unless we have a base. I don't know why, but there it is. Let's go ahead and head for the rendezvous point first. Now, if I'm not mistaken, let's take a look at the planets. I'm all... Barren, rotting, uh, charred. I think we tried landing there before. But we got to go to the rotting planet. Actually, you know what? Let's head there first. Let me see. It's how far away? 1700. This one is. Doesn't say. All right, oh, 1,600. Well, it'd be about the same amount of distance. All right, we'll go ahead and land there anyway. I do. Uh, we have to hit that rotting planet before we leave. One of these planets actually has 14 species of animals on it. So that'll get that particular one as well. So here, gotta, that'll get this one. Uh, what else? We won't get any of these just yet. Phase four... We will adopt another companion. I got to do that real quick. The swamp world, so that's what we're going to do here. Uh, we should be able to get an aquatic creature on one of those planets as well, as well as a deep sea horror. Okay. And I really got to hit the uh, space station here because I want to see if I can get myself another upgrade for my scanner because there's no way I'm going to get anything out of that. So we'll hit that space station a little bit. So rendezvous three. Let's hit that real quick. Sooner or later. We're almost there. I promise. Um, we're about to pass it by. Nope. Oh, we're good. It's a moon. No, it's not a space station. It really is a moon. I'm sorry. I should apologize for that. So what do we look for? Remember what we look for? We look for communication beacons. It tells us to stop and search around, but just look for the communication beacons if you can find any. Uh, what's that? Nothing. Let's just circle around real quick. Well, you know what? I'm not finding anything. What is wrong with that? Uh, a whole bunch right here. 
that way. Uh oh. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. There is a certain type of creature on this planet, I think. I know I saw the Diplo, which is the really big dinosaur looking thing. We need some oxygen. Let's go ahead and grab these. Grab the pods first that are on the outside, and you'll get more oxygen that way. Oops. Okay, 79,000, yeah. See, there's a dinosaur-looking creature over there. But we've already got giant eggs. I don't think that will give it to us. There's another type of creature that's long and spindly, kind of like the pet that I have. Anyway. That general direction. guys are speeding. I don't think it's a school zone though, so I think we're all right. What's up, man? That way. Yeah, I think we got enough condensed carbon. What do you think? that save beacon. Ooh, right into a cactus. Thank God this isn't a cartoon. Oh, there it is. Ah, I remember this place. discover it real quick. Oh, we've discovered six of the seven species on the planet. Well, what's the last one? Let's take a look real quick. Flying. Fascinating. And there they are. I'll be. That was almost too easy. I'll give us 1,750 more nanites. Remember that when you're playing the game for the first time. Even just discovering seven species gets you a lot. Okay, third rendezvous. Let's call on the ship. Okay, so not much else to do here, except let's gather the reward. Okay. We need three types of eggs. I need tall eggs still. So I think that's on the other planet, because I didn't see that amongst the creatures I discovered on this planet. Let's just take a quick peek. Uh, nope. Yeah, he's too big. Alright. So we're going to go to that uh, swampy planet. And I think that's it right there. And you can go to Pulse Drive immediately, leaving a planet like that if you want to. Just got to time it right. Nothing special. So we've completed, what, three more sub-phases in 20 minutes. Let me see if I can find some place to put down that actually has a landing pad at it. It really is cool coming across, you know, planets like this. No, that's not what we're looking for. There's money to be made there, but that's not what we're looking for.
Ouch. Okay, that was a non-landing area. Let me just take a look at it. Something was weird about it. Nope. Ah, trading. Got it. Oop, don't hit the ground again. Well, this thing's hard to control. Uh, if I only had an economy scanner, I could scan for a minor outpost or something like that. Because we are going to create a base here, I think, so we can make what we're looking for. Eh. I really want something a little nicer than that. I'm going to be a little picky, I'm sorry. night time again. Huh. You know what? I'll take it because it is a drop pod. We can upgrade our exosuit while we're here. Alright, so let's create a temporary base here. Uh, regular. So this is not the planet I thought it was. But, regardless of which. So we're going to plant down a base computer real quick. We'll pick this up after we're done. Dooby 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 doo. Okay. Wow, okay, we're really short on these. Let's gather up. Yes, I'm going to cheat. Not cheat again. I'm actually taking advantage of a glitch in the game. Do this real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's the last one we're going to do. Alright. So we need five. How many more do we need? 100 magnetized ferrite. So we need 200 regular ferrite. So we have 25 pure. So 75. 72. Yes, making more cargo space is basically what I'm doing here. So, that's not enough. I need 100 magnetized ferrites, so let's get 100 more. One more. There we go. Miscounted. My bad. We'll do it. I promise. What's this for? It's for my pulse spitter. There we go. All this to make a weapon on my pulse spitter. It's not that I'm going to need it, but I will... If I have to fight some sentinels, it's nice to have a decent weapon on you. And I know, I'm sorry, but I probably don't need to do this in relation to the expedition in any way, but I gotta have my good gun. I'm sorry. Okay, so we have the hundred. Should be able to do this. I like to orient it the right way. Okay, so what do we need this for? So what we're gonna put in here is we're gonna put some dihydrogen and tritium. We need how many? 200? Figures. Let's get it started. So we need 35 more dihydrogen. There's some hydrogen.
probably not be needing any more dihydrogen anytime soon. Starship, exosuit, and what we will do is delete that. Let's go here. And the weapon now produces over 3,500 damage, so that's pretty good stuff. Thing is, we do need some ammunition. There we go. That should be enough. Okay, good. And I forgot about that. We don't want that taking up any room. Okay. We now have a weapon. Okay, base come, base go. So we need three things to upgrade. We're gonna need this, we will need that, and do we have any sodium? I think we might have forgot about this. We have no sodium nitrate. We need 10 sodium nitrate. Gonna make 20. Because you never know when you might need it. So, antimatter housing, sodium nitrate, carbon nanotubes. And we get ourselves an extra spot. And there it goes. Okay, so we got one of these each. Let's put these in the starship. Yeah, hang on to it, never know. We're not going to need much in the way of uh, stuff right now. So let's take a look at the creatures of the planet. Yeah, let's go ahead and use one of those. Hmm, uh, land sea turtle. Okay, that's a four legged creature. I'm not sure if this is the planet where I found those things at. It might be the planet that has water on it. Yeah, I don't see anything else. Alright, let's head to that other planet. I really thought this was going to be that planet, but who, who knows. Uh, let's go in the cockpit and check our radar. Okay. So that's where the rendezvous was. This planet is isotopic. Let's land there anyway. One of these planets has 14 creatures on it. I don't remember which one it was. It might be at the next rendezvous. And we need tall eggs, and I know what kind of creature to find those on. If I can find them. Third party, third, third party, third person. Looks like there's a storm on the planet at the moment. Can't even see the land. Wow. It's pretty bad, huh? I don't know if we're going to find anything here. All right. 
we're just gonna try landing. Uh, fauna limited. Let's see how many it tells us. Seven. Mostly flying. Three, four, son of a biscuit eater. I don't know if there's any land based creatures here. That is fascinating, though. Okay. Definitely not the planet I'm looking for. All right, let's go over our goals. Uh, let's see, we gather three types of eggs, specific environments. Three type of eggs we're gonna find on our own. So let's go ahead and just continue on here. Let's go to specific environments, which are, we need an airless planet, a swamp planet, which I could have swore we were on, and a volcanic planet. Oops. Wasn't trying to exit the ship. Monster Thrusters 22. Okay. Alright. Now that was the planet we went to first. Yeah, we're just going to meander around here for a little while. Okay, charred. Yikes, that's pretty far away. Okay, let's head for the space station, because I don't know, did we actually land at the space station here? I'm not sure if we did or not. Okay. Good. Looks like we locked in on the space station here. Again, we want to find a scanner upgrade. That'll get us fauna a fauna upgrade. Okay, about a half hour in. Good deal. Then we're going to get on to rendezvous number four here. I got a funny feeling the next system is going to be the system we want to go to. And we can do our upgrades while we're here real quick. Upgrade, apply, yep, all right, where we want it. Exosuit upgrade, yes, we have been here, so, uh, yeah, take that one. Multi-two upgrade, uh, expansion slot, I'm not mistaken, nope, it isn't, okay. Did we already buy one from him? Pulse spitter, bulk caster, mining. Neutron. Nope. It doesn't have what we need anyway. Okay. Let's continue on. Two. So, do we stop here, or do we continue on to the end? I'm greedy. Let's go all the way to the end. Not normally greedy. In real life, I'm not. But I really want to get us moving along, and that way you see what happens if we take the big jump here whether we're going to get what we're looking for. Um, hopefully not a battle. Doesn't look like it. Oh, good. Okay, back to single person view, first person view. Irradiated. Okay, we don't need that. 
big planet right behind us, Acrid. Okay, there's one moon down below. It looks like there's water here, so we can get we can fulfill that last thing here. Life incompatible. That is an airless planet, my friends. That'll get us one of them. Uh, is that the one we've already seen? Rainy. Rainy. Rainy, rainy. Airless swamp. That might be rainy. Okay. Let's hit the airless. Of course, we want to hit the space station first. Too many buttons being pressed at the same time. Here we go. There we go. Okay. Let's grab our exosuit upgrade real quick. We don't want to stay long. Check for a scanner upgrade because we're going to need it. Uh, put you down here. Okay. Uh, what do you got for me, buddy? Absolutely nothing. Okay, this place sucks. Moving on. Now we can do a little space station hopping to get what we're looking for. I might do that off camera. Because I know one of the space stations we were at had a scanner upgrade, so. And I've rebooted since then. Okay, let's hit airless. One of my thumbnails is me on an airless planet getting a picture. Cool thing about an airless planet, they really stick to what you might think it would be like, say, like on the moon, for instance. With very little to no atmosphere. Not only does your ship not really burn up on entry, a lot less noise on the entry into a planet like this, but there literally is nothing. Whoa, okay, yeah, this is kind of a creepy place. All right, so see what it says, weather airless? Watch. Cool, right? I'm sorry. There's just nothing else to say about a planet like this. I don't have the advanced mining laser yet. But it's pretty cool to be able to do that. <laughs> I always like that about these planets. Anyway, but there's literally nothing here. So it'll tell you that there's no fauna, there's no flora, there are no sentinels. There's nothing to do here but leave. Just to say you've been here. So you see, I've got the airless planet now. I need a swamp planet and a volcanic planet. So, like I said, there should be one of these planets should be rainy. Eventually. Acrid. Is that one the rainy? Oh, come on. I don't know why it makes me do this. Irradiated. How about you? Tropical. Hmm. That might work. Uh, over here? Ah, that was the one. Okay, let's hit it. Okay, man, that just, this thing eats up fuel like nobody's business. Fortunately, we have over a thousand, so. thing I like about solar ships is that they recharge their pulse drives. And they're so economical and efficient with their fuel in regards to pulsing. That's why I love the solar ships for that reason. The... Uh, which kinds of ships are they? The... Ah, my brain just went blank. Happens. Don't get old. That's what I recommend. Ah, if we can get... 
Ah, okay, why not? Really? And here they come the pirates. Let me help you with those shields, my friend. Come at me. Hey, thanks for that suspicious packet. I appreciate it. Okay. Back at a singular player mode. First person, I should say. Okay. Let's land by the ocean. Not that we need too many marine life. We gotta get that egg. Which I thought we would have had by now. Eh. We'll see what that is. It's probably nothing more than a, a spot. Okay, nice little beach to land on. Yeah, so I thought. I'm in the water. Teeming with fauna, there you are. So that means... That means... Nobody's going to show up. We need to find some marine life. Oh, come on. Yes, by all means, take your time appearing here. I can't believe this. It's teeming with life, but none of them want to appear. Alright, let's just jump in the water. Now I'm going to take a look in the water here, because occasionally you'll find horrors down here. And I can get that at the same time. There we go, finally. That gets me my fourth. And a fifth. There it is. So I got another milestone. Milestones is what they're called. They call them sub. Uh, I need this. Oh, I got a living pearl by accident. That's okay. Ugh, those vents. Need some more crystal sulfide anyway, so let's get some air. But if we could find an abyssal horror in here someplace, I need five of these. There we go. And I'll grab a sixth one just for the heck of it. And jet my way away before it explodes again. not finding any horrors. So it's going to make us look for one. Eh. Okay. Well, we're heading back to our ship anyway. Sometimes on some planets during severe weather events, if you get into the water, you can avoid the severe weather event. Okay, this did not qualify as a swamp planet, unfortunately, so we're going to have to look for one of those still.
See? Okay. So let's collect, shall we? Ooh. We might have just got what we needed. Uh, let's go to the multi-tool and make sure we have room for it. There we go. Oh, it's in my starship. I forgot. Let's see what it gave us. There, that was what we needed. Fauna upgrade. And that's also a fauna analysis upgrade. Now, we didn't get it with this one. But if we can find one more and delete that one, then we're in good shape. It should get us what we need. I would like to find some animal life because, if I remember correctly, this had the animals I'm looking for. No, not the droids. The animals. Let's head over to the bigger island over here. Hmm. Probably nothing, but I'll go ahead and land in this general area anyway. It is nothing. I'll withstand the storm for a little bit, see if we can find some animals. Well, as long as he doesn't attack me. I expected it to. That's okay. Yep. Teeming with wildlife. Look at all the wildlife. Unless the sentinels are wildlife. Uh, I forgot. Yeah. Really expected to see more. Flying up there at the same time. Oh, what do you know? Found a creature worth 200,000 units. Did it completely by accident with what I had, so I don't need to get the upgrade after all. Uh, let's go with you. Okay, but I still need to find the creature egg that I'm looking for. Okay, these are not tall creatures. He seems kind of tall. Ugh, berries. I don't need berries. Ah, you pain in the neck. I should have saw that coming. So I'm clearing. Good. Let's go ahead and scan them anyway. 278,000. Okay, I guess I have enough. Okay, so we are finding a lot of animals. We found down into 13, though it said teeming with life, and I found only 13 animals. I'm supposed to find 14 or more, so I'm going to go with it and just say thank you, because, oh, is that? No, it isn't. It just looked like what I was looking for. Let's take a peek. Do, 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 that, 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 and that. 
Uh, thing look around. Okay, I'm not really worried about it. Alright, let's go find my ship. Come on, keep going. Whee! Now the good news is, we don't have to get that extra scanning, like I said. So let's collect this valuable data. Quicksilver and three more expansion slots for my exosuit. Good deal. And that was in phase five, see what I mean? So we've got three in phase five already. Crowded universe. We get some fireworks. Hmm. Interesting. And a 300 second jetpack surge that is also completely useless. Okay. Three there, three there. We still haven't gotten the third egg. We still haven't baked the cake, and we haven't yet to impress Cronus. Tell you what, while I'm here, uh, I need some ground based animals real fast. Oh, here we go. You guys will do. Uh, that'll work. Thank you. Why am I shooting the animals, you say? Because what we needed was not the Mordite, we needed that, the raw steaks. Okay. Yeah, investigate all you want, I'm done. I just wanted some steaks. We need it for cooking later. Okay. So we're done with that. I think I'm going to skip the charred planet because we landed on a charred planet before and it wasn't considered volcanic. Um, we have yet to be to that planet, but I think that's the same one. Acrid, yeah, that's what that was. That's not going to help us at all. But, I don't know what in the world that was. Okay, let's go back. Uh, so we need more environments. We need more eggs. Let's try boosting. Let's go to one more time real quick. We've got to the third rendezvous. We have yet to do the fourth and to adopt another companion. Okay. Let's, what time? 52. Let's go ahead and go to the fourth rendezvous. We're already there. How did I manage that? We just forgot to land at it. Oh, I feel like an idiot. Gotta orient myself right or I'll get too confused. Alright, so we've got lots of communication units nearby. Lots of communication, although that's a curiosity location. We don't need them. Let's just land. We'll find it in a minute. Nine hundred that way. It's my three hundred second boost. Figures. So that 300 second boost, it isn't as useless as I thought. Looks like it's right over there. Ugh. You find these patches of oxygen on occasion and it's worth taking. That should be enough. It's at the made it. There we go. 
Let's just head inside for a second. Hey, while we're here, good deal. So we get that fourth heart back. Okay, these are useless. That's handy. What's this? Pulse spitter module. Go figure. So, plus two, plus eleven. That's what I'm interested in. Plus two damage, plus eleven fire rate. Ugh, useless. So, good news is, we still have it. Very handy, isn't it? Okay. Back to the expedition. So we collect our reward. Nine nights, expansion slots. Okay, we're good. So we'll probably want to hit the space station real quick. Upgrade the crap out of everything. Uh, okay. Finally ended, huh? Yeah. Swamp world. Okay. Uh, ship is behind me? Yeah, there it is. of the 13 species. Isn't that funny? There was one more flying one, too, if I remember correctly. Not that we're seeing anything in this uh, Merc. Okay. I think we're done here. Because the creature we're looking for isn't on the planet. Okay. So we're going to do a quick space, uh, space station stop. Good to know. So let's hit the space station. Um, again, we have two more planets. The other one's a rainforest planet. I don't know whether we want to hit it or not. It's pretty far out. Really thinking about it. It's kind of a tough decision. Because I feel like I found these creatures before this point. We could land on the acrid planet anyway. I mean, it's right there. Maybe I'll find the creature I'm looking for there. Oh, okay. I didn't think we went that far out from it. Man, that's loud. All right. So this one might run a little bit over here. Let's get upgraded. Okay, ship first. Right where we want it. Okay. It's a suit upgrade. Uh, put you down here. Looks like we're getting three of them. So we got this all blocked out. I'm going to go ahead and just take another one up here just because. Okay. And upgrade the multi tool. I think we unlocked the business slot yet. Nope, we didn't. Okay. Uh, we got things to sell. Hi there. Good thing you showed up. Yeah, yeah. Don't want your ship. Start here. Salt. What do we got? I'm going to go ahead and hang on to that, but believe it or not, I'm going to get rid of my hypnotic eye. The gleaming gloom, or gleaming gem, or whatever it was. The salvage data we don't need anymore. And I don't see the fireworks. Fascinating. So 
Get rid of the living pearl, we don't really need it. Okay. Alright, that's good. Uh, you know what, do you have anything I need? Let me just check. Nope. Nada. Okay. Where's my ship at? It's over here. Wow, loud in here. Working on it, working on it, working on it. Tall eggs, I know. Uh. <sighs> wow. I literally cannot... So many of those stupid ships bounced in at the last second there. I couldn't actually go anywhere. Ugh. We just had a storm. Good grief. Okay. It literally faded out of existence once I discovered it. give me anything, but I'll give it a shot. How you doing? Now what will he give me? Uh, warm proto milk. I don't think I need that. Titan worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it's falling. Is that what I think it is? Well, I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. It could be it. I don't know. All right, let's give them a shot. I don't think they lay eggs, but call my ship to us in a little bit here if we don't get what we're looking for. Uh, let's use a battery. Uh, edible clusters. Oh yeah, my companion register is full. Let's check that out and unlock one. 500 nanites. Okay. And look around for any new creatures that we might be able to get our hands on. Nope. So I don't think this is the planet we're looking for. Pretty sure it's not. I think the last are going to be in the ocean. Ground and underwater, yeah. All right. Call said ship over. And we're going to head out. So we're going to take a hop, skip, jump on the way. Get into space first. go. 
So normally we'd head for the fifth rendezvous and I'd go straight there, but I'm going to actually stop at some planets on the way. We're going to stop here. Stop at the solar system, see if we can find what we're looking for. Hopefully there's no battle going on. Hydration. Hmm. Guess what? There's a battle going on. the next set. On my way. Um, why am I not following him? Okay, that was weird. There you are. There we go. Done. And he got. Why can I can't move? Gotta get him out of the way of the ship. He's got me facing the ship. Whew. Now, in case you're wondering, we are not going to jump on board the uh, fleet. I don't care this time. While we're here, grab my upgrade. Uh, looks like we got everything down there. And it looks like we unlocked a slot I didn't realize we unlocked. Supercharge. Uh, let's see. 228, 225. There we go. There you go. Not worried about anything else. Okay, let's take a look at these uh, planets. Overgrown. Overgrown. That might be one to land on. Please tell me this isn't an ocean. Ugh, it's an ocean. Alright, I'm not really worried about that. See if we can find some land. This looks like pretty decent sized land. All I need is land enough that it'll have some animals on it. Yeah, that happens. Let's see. 
I need Nope, still didn't get it. Animals, animals, animals. They should have been showing up by now. It's like flying ants. He might be considered tall. I'll check it out. Nope, milk. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Okay, let's check this one out over here. Ah, it's one of those creatures. There's ten more, and I guarantee you there's a bunch in the uh, water. That's a slide around on the ground type of creature. Okay. I think we're going to go elsewhere. Where's my ship? That was not my ship. My ship. Okay. Off we go. Okay, there's a planet right there. Let's see what kind of planet that is. There we go. Grassy. Okay. What are the plants we have around here? Oh, some over here. What's that? Tropical. Okay. Tropical might be the way to go. What about you, little guy? Acidic? Is that two moons? Freezing? No, that's just a... Whatchamacallit thing there. Ash Shrouded Volcano World. Okay, that we're going to. Because that's one of the worlds we need. So, sorry, this one's running a little bit longer than I expected. But we really have completed a lot more than I expected as well. Just across three different phases. So, while this may be considered phase three, it's more like... Episode 3. Because like I said, all these things can be c completed under different... Did he put a landing pad there? Oh, yeah, it's actually, it is a landing pad. And you see the volcanoes, so this will get one of our worlds taken care of. Okay. So that, specific type of environments. So we have one more, and that is the... Let's go back to the log. That is going to be Swamp Planet. Okay. Let's take a look at the creatures real fast and see if we can find anything. These planets usually have a lot of flying creatures on them, but... What's it look like? That might be considered tall. I'll try him. Got lucky there. Oh, well, maybe. What do you give me? Milk. You don't help. Okay, three of seven. Grub. Great. I don't think that's a... Is that really a creature? I don't know. Alright. I think... The rest is going to be a pain in the neck. Let's find out. Uh, ground, underground, underground. Yeah, this... 
chances of me finding what I'm looking for are slim to none here, so let's just head back. Okay, so we got another world completed. Let's head to Swamp Planet. Okay, so that's the planet we came from, if I remember correctly. Overgrown. Is it? Gosh, I don't remember anymore. I don't think it is. Maybe it is. Yes, it is. It is. That's right. My bad. So this was the tropical or grassy? That's grassy. Uh, this was tropical. I'm not sure if it constitutes swamp, though, so we'll find out. If it doesn't, we'll get out of this area. Again, we'll look for the creatures we're normally looking for. Darn it. I did that by accident. Hang on. There we go. I just wanted to make sure my... Yeah, my landing gear's up to snuff. I want to make sure we land on actual land and not in the ocean again. Alright, what do we got? I don't know. This looks like a nice place. Oh. Well, definitely tropical, but I don't think it constituted the right planet that we're looking for. Definitely not. Let's look at creatures. constitute a tall creature. That's not either. Keep looking, keep looking, keep looking. Really? Huh. I really thought there'd be more creatures floating around on here. I mean, we got some flight... flighted ones. We have ten. Those are definitely not tall. Oh man, these storms are just killing us. Okay. I think I can be fairly certain that the creature I'm looking for is not going to be on this planet. Okay. Let's head out. Not going to waste any more time here. Okay, where's the next planet? System. One, two, three, four. Looks like four planets here. Okay, so we're at about an hour and 20 minutes. We're going to go about another 10 more minutes and then I'm going to call it. And we'll try to complete it and everything else in the last episode. We'll see what we can do. Arctic. Yep, we don't need to worry about an Arctic. Oh, hey, easy, easy. It's okay. Yeah, we can check that planet out in a second. Let's check out this one over here. Looks cold as well. Incandescent. I uh, couldn't even begin to tell you. Uh, let's try this one. Vapor. Guess what? That might be the one we're looking for. Let's go ahead and head there. Just a hunch. 
I think vapor would be more like humid, which could be swamp-like. So let's see what this looks like. See mushrooms. Did we get it? Yes. Okay, good deal. So that, this one. Uh, expansion suit types three, chromatic metal, magnetic fire, defense shits. Like we don't need those anyway. Okay, we still need tall eggs. Good. There's a bird. Can't get... Go figure. They've got eggs, but... Oh! That's the creature I'm looking for. It looks like there's a whole bunch of them over here. Where'd he go? Did I jump over him? Up oh, there he is. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Offer him food. And I'm going to collect his eggs, which should be tall eggs. I got two from him. Oh, not you. Collect eggs. Two more. And we need one more. Nope, not you. You. All right, we got him. But you know what? Guess what we're going to do, too? We're also going to adopt you. And we got a new creature. And guess what else we got? That's three creatures. So we get three types of eggs. And we get a nutrient processor now. So now we can cook food. And we've got too much crap in my inventory. I didn't do that. Hey, buddy. Oh, I'll tell you what. There we go. Sorry, bud. Okay, there we go. My bad. I should have been nicer to him. Now we're just going to make it disappear. Bye. You're gone. Oh, you know what these are? We get navigation data from them, but occasionally we get other stuff. We get an execute exos exosuit upgrade chart in English. Yes, I can speak it. Occasionally. All right. Oh, big boy. I'm not even sure what to think of that. And the gravitino balls. Go figure. Eh, take a look. We get some extra money for him anyway. How many is that? Four of thirteen. We're not going to be gathering anything else. I think we're just going to hold off on everything for now. Is that? That's a salvage container, huh? Well, we're going to find the bone planet in the last episode, so we're not going to worry about that. What else we got? How's my inventory look? Full. There, we're going to put you down here. Ship, 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 ship. And ship, why not? Keep you, keep you, keep you. Put you down there. We're going to be using you up anyway. Let's put you down here, over here. Okay. I want to do a little cooking. I feel like being out of the weather. There we go. Okay. So we need how many to deploy these things? One hermetic seal, two metal plates. One, two. And 
let's build it. So remember that meat I got? Meat stew. I'm going to go ahead and make all of them. And when I present them to Kronos, he'll usually be impressed by at least one of them. Okay. There we go. Am I too far away from my ship to access it? No, we're a good ship. Okay, so what we're going to do real quick, we need to make a cake. Right, Sweet Tooth? So... There it is. I'm going to make a cake. Go to your catalog, and you go under here, crafting, I don't think it's in crafting, I'll find it here in a second. Uh, let's see, was it here? No. Exotic? No. Curiosities? We'll find it, don't worry. Trade? Yikes, that wasn't it. Oh, cooking, for Pete's sake, it's right there. So what we're going to look for is we're going to look for cakes. Now the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need cake batter. Um, I don't know, we need... We need butter. I don't know if that'll work. Let's see. didn't work. Why didn't that work? Okay. This may be a matter of trial and error. Uh, so what do we got? Let's put some fresh milk in. We get cream. We definitely definitely need cream. And good. Okay. Can we put sugar in there? Process sugar. No? Okay. Okay, we need butter. I'm not going to make all of it. So where's the flour? Uh, butter? Pastry? We need an egg. Uh, let's see. Eggs, flour, and sugar, right? Hold on a second. That's not it. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is where you have to take into consideration using something else. Like the internet, for instance. Okay, so we need butter, flour, and egg. Oh, but it's got to be sweetened butter. We need sweetened butter or honey butter. Okay, hold on. That's not what I was grabbing. I'm looking for the cream. There it is. And sugar? No. How about the honey? Trying 
return butter processed sugar. Okay, hold on. Churn butter, processed sugar. Let's make all three. Okay. And okay, so this is where we grab the sweetened butter. We need the flour. We need an egg. There it is. And where's the flour out? There's the flour. Cake batter. Good. Okay. Now to make a cake. I know we need to cake batter. Let's grab that. Uh, let's see. No. Oh. I think we just did it. Yes. So that's done. So let's go in inventory, and what we're going to do is we're going to get, we're going to sell all this crap out. I don't think we're going to need that anymore. Now we have to hit Kronos. So we'll hit the space station first, get rid of some stuff, and it looks like we're going to be able to call it here. Hour and a half, guys. Sorry about that. I did want to finish out the phase three though. And it looks like we got half of phase four and phase five done as well by accident, so. I don't think Aunt Kevin's gonna get rid of those nip nip buds, huh? Alright. So I'm gonna pause real quick, sell all this stuff off, then we're gonna go see Cronus. I'll be right back. And we're back. So I've got all that stuff out of there. We're going to correct, collect this. That's going to get us some domestic base park blueprints, which really I don't care. Because we're not creating any bases. We're going to collect that award. Uh, underwater oxygen upgrade, which we will probably need. And some, oh, got a lot of oxygen. That's one, two, three, four. That's very funny. And we're going to collect this reward. Hazard protection upgrade, ion batteries. Could have used that earlier. Uh, let's see. So we have to impress Kronos. So two is complete. Three is nearly complete. Four is nearly complete. Five is very close. So let's go impress Kronos real quick. about all these stupid ships everywhere apparently somebody invited their fleet in okay here we go just hang out with me just a couple more minutes we're going to go and press Kronos so in case you weren't aware Kronos loves food uh, if you kick some dishes now the mystery stews wow that's loud mystery stews are the easiest thing to create just all you need is two types of meat does make a difference what types of meat they are, just two types. And you can get a mystery stew. You present them to them and you can get nanites in return. Uh, present the mystery stew. And that impressed them on the first shot. So we're done with that. So let's go ahead and collect that one. We got an assortment of cakes. Yay. See, 
Look at all those wonderful cakes. I really wish it would worry about that. Got thermal protection and underwater protection. Underwater we could really use right about now. Sorry, I know I'm a little bit sidetracked here. Underwater protection. There you go. A little bit of uh, juggling. Thermal protection. Yeah, why don't we just put it in here? No big deal. It's in there. We got it. And look at all these wonderful cakes that we literally are worth hundreds of thousands in some case. So we'll go ahead and just sell those off in between episodes real quick here. So we're really, we are done with phase three. We're going to collect that one. Ex exotic armor companion customization. Still going through the cakes. It's really, really happy about those cakes. What can you say? Okay. And we're going to move on to phase four. We have to survive the clutches of a deep sea horror. We'll show you how to go about doing that in the next episode. And then we'll complete out four. So that shouldn't take long. Uh, we'll reach the final rendezvous after that. We're going to do the five Explorer Guild um, missions. We're going to excavate some bones. And we'll meet a deep space sentient because one of the... Uh, as you can see, the uh, rewards here is the deep space lore plan, so that'll help us to meet the deep space sentients. So these should go, this one should go quick, this should go quick, these will take a little bit of time. So I figure another hour's worth of gameplay, and that'll get us where we need to go, and then at five, once we finish these out, will give us our full and complete badge. So we're going to call it a day here. Uh, really appreciate your watching, and thank you for bearing with me for an hour and a half going through this nonsense, uh, but I hope you enjoyed it. Um, it's but the best way to do it, in most cases, just hop around planet to planet until you find what you're looking for. Knowing that you have to go for taller creatures to get tall eggs and things like that, and obviously the large creatures to get the giant eggs, something to keep an eye open for. So we will go through this again in the morning, uh, or at least in my morning, anyway. I don't know where you are, but I, again, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, as I always say, never criticize kindness and always be truthful, especially to yourself. Thank you for watching again and have a pleasant day.